Hi guys, it's Ray with Ray's Turquoise Turtle. I am going to start a cup with the six glitters that I am included in the giveaway. I'm going to run back over them real quick. I put some in cups so I'm ready to go. It is Get Flocked, Pool Float, Sun Kissed, Squeeze Me, Aloha, and Icy. Um, if you haven't seen it, there's a giveaway video up a couple videos back. Check that out. You'll get a chance to win a one ounce bag of each of these colors and a couple of other goodies. So I'm going to start by, I'm going to do this on a 30 ounce skinny straight. So I'm going to start by just putting a coat of resin on here. Um, just a small layer for adhesive. Um, hopefully you can see that. I just put a tiny bit on the bottom and I am just going to spread that. You don't need a lot when you're using it for your adhesive layer. I have a small football in here so the cup is kind of wobbly right now. Um, but it's fine. Stretch it thin. I am using um, liquidy split for this coat so it'll set pretty quickly so I can get a flood coat on it. Um, I'm just stretching it thin. Definitely don't need much. I probably used no more than 5 mLs for this layer. A little bit of lint or something on there. Okay. So once you can feel the entire cup is coated, you're good to go for your glitter. So I am going to just set this on my drying rack for a moment while I get my papers and stuff together. Okay, I am back and hopefully ready to do this. Um, it is so unbelievably hot and muggy today that my resin is like instantly curing. I mean, fast sets quick to begin with. Well, look what I split in this case, but today is a little bit ridiculous. So I'm gonna bring my tumbler back in. Hopefully it's still tacky tacky enough to hold glitter anyways and I'm going to start with the pink and I'm just going to kind of spread it on and spiral down and hopefully I'm going wide enough to get about a sixth of the cup and I'm going to tip up as straight as I can to get some on the bottom. So I'm not going to worry about trying to keep these unmixed. I think it's going to be impossible. And I'm just going to work my way through the colors. So I'm going to have a beautiful pastel -y custom summer mix of whatever is falling on my table when I'm done here. I uh, had another idea of something to do with these, but I felt like this might be the quickest route. I'm going to work backwards off that pink line as well because I do want to be able to fit all of the glitters in. So I'm kind of trying to pay attention to how much room I'm using up per color, if that makes sense. And I'm trying to keep them out of getting splashed on. I know I'm wasting quite a bit here. 
by not switching in and out, but it's okay. I'll be all right. Whatever's left in my mix cup is going to be really pretty, and I may just turn around and put that on a tumbler as a peekaboo. I'm trying to look at the bottom once in a while. I'm going to come back over this with some of that other color as well. Because otherwise that's going to be a really wide band of orange. And I'll probably come back in with some more green as well. These are all so pretty together. I'm trying to look at the bottom again. I do want that full. Um, I'm gonna come back in with the pink a little bit. Just trying to cover up any white at this point. This is a mix chunky, so sometimes the fines won't won't stick the first go around. All right, so I have full coverage, basically. There's some white showing through, but I'm not overly concerned. I'm just gonna look for any major, major white spots and come back in and try and fill those. And if my glove's not too sticky, I'm going to just pat down with my gloved hand right now. That'll just um, help me get a better coat on the flood coat if it's flatter to begin with. You would have sat there and um, taken a matching color for each one and spray painted in sections, but I didn't want to do that with this one because I wanted to see how these all look over white and they are beautiful so um, I am going to come back in after the flood coat with a milky white coat just a um, I'm going to try and do a pretty translucent white coat so that's my goal anyways. And this might mix some color, but I do want to try and get this white on the lip covered a little bit more. So, I am going to let this sit. I'm going to go, I'm not even going to put it on a turner because there's so little adhesive. I'm just going to stand it back up on the drying rack and let it dry and then come back in with the flood coat. I'm just kind of looking down the side to see what's really sticking up so I can pat some of that down. But aren't they pretty? Kind of blend and mix and they all have a little bit of a silvery shift to them so they just kind of roll together. But that's it for now. I will be back when I'm ready for the flood coat. 
Okay, I am ready to flood coat this and I'm also going to give it a tiny bit of a Milky Way treatment in the flood coat. We'll see how that goes. It's not really the best way to do it, but it's the way I'm going to do it. Um, normally I would get a couple coats on here, but I think I'm just going to see what happens if I do it that way. I did not seal this, so some of the glitter may still float, um, but I'm just going to try and be pretty gentle. I mixed up 30 mLs total. Actually, I'm not picking too much up on my glove, so not too bad. Don't forget to get the bottom. Normally I wait until I'm completely smooth to do a Milky Way, but I just kind of want to see what happens if I do it at this stage, just to see if I get a different effect or anything like that. So that is where I'm at. And I probably did need a little bit more resin, but it's going to get another coat in a couple hours. I'm using my liquidy split, so this is going to dry pretty quick. So I'm not going to worry too, too much about this coat being a little thinner. It's really not moving all that much, so. And it did actually lay down pretty, pretty flat for me after I patted it down like that in the last section. So I'm pretty happy with it overall. I do have one little white spot around the rim still. Right here, I have one. And I think that might be the only one. I'm going to kind of watch it come around one more time. Just to see. Because I might grab my mixed cup and kind of add a little bit of the rim. <clears throat> This is my mixed cup of how all of them looked. I'm probably going to put this on a cup and use it as a peekaboo. I think would be fun. But right now, I'm going to try and fill in any gaps at the top. I think I just have that one other spot. And I'm okay with the color being a little mixed at the top here. Not really worried about that. So I'm just going to watch that come around one more time quick. For my white for the Milky Way, I mixed Frosty Pearl from Woody's Goodies. That's a mica. And um, Pinata Blanco Blanco White Alcohol Ink. Um, this has become hard to find for some reason. Um, my link that I've been using for over a year now goes to like a sapphire or something so I'm going to try to find a new Amazon link for that hopefully I know it still comes in the exciter pack but I don't want you guys to have to buy a full thing of inks just to get the white so all right I'm going to get started with this and I actually need my cup rotating the other way would make it much easier. I'm going to try and find the color divides a little bit. These colors kind of worked awesome together and like blended color to color to color in a really cool way. So I 
like where the pink and blue overlapped, I have a little bit of a purpley. And the um, pink and the corally color blended extremely well. And the green and the yellow, I almost can't see the divide currently. So, let's see. One section, two sections, three. should be six. All right. I might have a little rogue line in here somewhere, but it's all right. I'll break it up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to just pick one of the lines or two of the lines and like chase the bottom. Just a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to take my glove off because now I am super sticky and I need to use my heat gun. So, that's all I'm going to put on there for the white. Like I said, I just wanted to break it up a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm going to grab my heat gun. I use the Wagner um, Ferno 550. It's got multiple fan and heat settings and I'm pretty happy with it overall. So it's going to get a little bit loud, but I'm just going to hit it with heat. As soon as I see it start to move, I'm going to back off, especially since this is a um, fast setting epoxy. I don't want to overheat it. So I have my fan up all the way and I have my heat setting all the way down. to start and I'm going to see if that'll move it just a little bit. It's also not a heavy, heavy layer of epoxy, so it's not going to be able to move as much anyways. I just kind of melted down in and around the glitter some and spread a little bit kind of fluffy summery clouds so I am going to let this spin till dry and then come back in and get another 
clear coat on it because it's still going to be too bumpy at this point to get a decal on it yet. So it's going to need one more coat prior to the decal. So I probably won't come on when I do the next coat because that's just going to be the clear coat. I will be back after that for decal when it's ready. Okay, I'm ready to get the decal on this. I'm just going pretty simple, pretty bold and white. It says, dream, create, inspire. And I'm just going to come down to this end so I can see. And hopefully that is semi-straight. Just simple for this one. I'm messing up my M. I can feel it. All this one's gonna get that was just pretty basic but I think that's all this one needed because it's pretty beautiful on its own so I just have to get a coat of resin on this and that is it this was a piece of vinyl that was already on that transfer tape so that needs to come back off okay <laughs> I will bring you down and give you a close-up of this in a couple of minutes. All right, so here we go. This is now, it needs another top coat, but I'm not going to do it tonight, and I wanted to show you this video before the weekend, so I have to get it done today. But here we go, Dream, Create, Inspire. And look at all those gorgeous glitters. pink to the coral to the yellowy rolling through the green and over to the blue and back to the pink and it does have a little bit of a purple hue where they overlap but these glitters are so beautiful so make sure that you go watch the giveaway video and enter because I'm giving away an ounce of every one of these six colors if you see this before July 5th. After that, the drawing will be over. But this is just on a white base. The colors would pop more probably on matching bases, but um, I didn't want to do that with this one. So, there you go. These are the LMNOP June Glitter Box glitters in action.